Can you tell me a little bit about Central High School? Well, Central was, was, was a tad bit over 50 years old. We had our 50th anniversary a few years ago. Small school, rural, oftentimes the same socioeconomic demographic, but full of a lot of talented students uh, in a lot of different ways. In a school like Central, where we're in sort of a community that's extremely rural, that um, doesn't necessarily have a huge fine arts department. It's always kind of like, you know, we've, we've kind of been known for sports, and I never really knew much about the music or drama or arts program. I came from Meigs County High School, and so I came from a background where it was kind of the same thing. We never did musicals in school. Besides choir, there wasn't really a whole lot to offer. My children are very much in the arts, and they don't have that at their school. And so when I saw you guys start bringing that back to Central, I thought, that is awesome because there are so many students that need that avenue. Miss Peretti, please spell Syzygy. The 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee is certainly a comedy set in Putnam County uh, regarding a spelling bee, <laughs> which sounds kind of a little dweeby at first, but it's hilarious. Um, it's a lot of fun. And uh, I didn't even know that it actually won a Tony Award. Rachel Shankman, the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. So you have all of these kids who are from different backgrounds, from sports backgrounds to homeschool backgrounds to political backgrounds. And they all are on stage together. They're all in the spelling bee together. And so you really just start to see unfold their different personalities and how they react to one another. And that really is the biggest comedy in all of it is seeing because they're all so drastically different. We love comedies um, and kind of it, it lent itself really, really well to something that you know, Central High School, it's been decades since anything has been on stage, a full length production. We actually had a teacher come up to us on closing night and she brought it to our attention that it's actually been upwards of 30 or 40 years that Central is not a musical if they did one then. So we wanted something that was attainable, had a lot of different characters, and that could have a lot of comedic ad-lib. We went through a couple of uh, musicals that we were interested in doing, and really I found this show. I had known it my freshman year at Tennessee Wesleyan University. We were looking at musicals to do, and Spelling Bee was actually one that we looked at. We didn't actually end up choosing it then. We ended up going with a show called You're in Town. However, it was still in the back of my head, and I looked up online, you know, top um, musicals for high school students, and Spelling Bee was one that popped up. So I brought it to Miss McDonald and Mr. Whitehead, said, hey, I think this could be a really cool show. We should look into this one, and they agreed. And so we did it. Here we are. We uh, did auditions in December, I believe. We had over 70 kids audition to be in the show, which here at Central is around and about 10% of our student body. Auditions were great. I was a little overwhelmed with how many people actually auditioned because that made the uh, casting experience very difficult. But uh, I was overwhelmed with just the amount of students that wanted to be involved, whether it be cast or crew, so I was really excited. I've always, I always loved doing musicals and stuff like that, and I feel like this would be a you know, great opportunity, you know, not only to get to know people, but, you know, kind of go out with a bang, you know. Chip in the musical is more or less this cocky, arrogant athlete that is out to really impress everybody. Hey, Marcy, don't be nervous. Just watch the blood eye. I've always loved plays, and I was super excited when I found out Central was doing it once, so I just had to do it. <laughs> She's, she starts out as the ultimate overachiever, and she really wants to be perfect at everything she does, but throughout the show, she just kind of is over it. <laughs> she eliminates herself on purpose. She pretty much hates everyone and just is bored with everything that everyone does. I am a huge theater fan, like it's been my whole life. And when I found out that we were gonna do a musical, I was very, very excited. I went home and listened to music over and over and then I found out that I got it whenever I auditioned for it and I literally jumped in the hall and I did a jig. I was so excited and I went home and I was like, I've listened to all my parts. I was like, ah! Logan is the youngest character in the B. She's very obnoxious, she talks with a lisp and 
Her dad is like overbearing. It's like, you win this bee. Swartz's dad, he's kind of just like the helicopter dad, this full blown out helicopter dad. He will kill a kid for Swartzy to win. We study a lot, we study with her. You're spelling this wrong, you're not thinking, you need to build up your stamina. And her mother is like, well, it's okay, you're good for now. So she does this with like, boom, boom, all the time. <laughs> I knew there was some kind of play going on. I didn't really know anything about it until at work, Bailey Johnson, who was in the chorus, uh, suggested to me that I try out. Leaf Coney Bear is homeschooled, and his family is a bunch of hippies that don't support him at all. He's there by uh, default, because the winner and the runner-up of his local spelling bee uh, both couldn't attend. Wow, that's not at all. I went to Walker last year, Walker Valley High School, and I was very involved in their theater arts there and everything. When I moved here, I of course wanted to pursue, you know, acting and everything as well, because I felt like that was something that I was very strong in is acting. And so um, this year, when I came to Central and the opportunity arose to do a musical, I jumped at the chance because it was something where I could show my acting skills. My character is disgusting. <laughs> he is disgusting. Um, very much a nerd. Uh, but he kind of has like that hidden nice side to him that like nobody really expects. So he's kind of like the antagonist and the protagonist at the same time. Um, has nice personality traits, but also like a lot of bad ones that overshadow the nice ones. One of the people that were leading it is my band director and she talked about it and I got really interested in it. So I decided to watch it and I love Olive. Olive was my favorite character in it. So I decided to try out and it's really out of the box for me because I've never sang in front of people before, so. Um, Olive is a very shy character. She was very, she lives in a very like alone house. Her parents are never there. So she kind of relied on books to be her friend, which is why she sang a song called My Friend the Dictionary. But throughout the musical, you see her kind of grow into her confidence and actually talk to the other characters. I was actually thinking about not auditioning for it, but Mr. Rowling came up to me the day before and asked me if I was going to. And it, he was like, are you going to audition? And I was like, I, I don't know. And he said, I really think you should. So then I did, and I ended up getting the role of Rona. Rona is the host of the Spelling Bee, and it's her ninth consecutive year as the host. And she actually won the third annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, and it is a very big deal for her. It's kind of almost throughout the play, she realizes that this is, this is like her one big thing she's accomplished. And I think she's kind of realizing, kind of, I'm getting so crazy and excited about this one moment that I did probably back when I was in middle school. So it was really fun to play that part. She has a very special relationship with Panch. Well, um, he's infatuated with um, the hostess, Rona Lisa Peretti. And she does not feel the same way. I got involved when I was at work the other day, and some a colleague was said um, that they were going to be doing a musical and they were doing auditions. And I heard like about a, one of the characters was the vice principal, and I like the concept behind his character, so that's why I auditioned. Vice principal, Vice principal, don't let me be principal. Vice principal. Once we set the main cast, we started doing musical rehearsals in December. Well, at first I was really nervous because I had never really had that big of a part in a play, and I knew that it was really important. Rehearsals were, in the beginning, they were very nerve-wracking for me because I had never really sung in front of anybody. And so I was like flipping out. And I was trying to cover it with my William Barfay voice, but sooner or later, you know, I had to sing in my regular voice. At the beginning, I was very, very nervous to sing in front of people. I would actually like be shaking while singing and talking. Like, if you looked at me, you could see me just shaking, just singing in front of people. The first beginning ones were kind of hard because we actually had to sing, not sing, like sing. I was a little worried at first. I didn't think that it was going to be as good as I was hoping. But man, at the end, it really all came together and just blew my mind how great it was. After a little bit, we had got our lines learned and everything. And so it was just like a, a fun time to come and hang out with friends and just get to talk to each other and, and talk about life. Um, Near the end of it, 
I have grown so many friendships like with you and others and I just would not trade it for the world. I just felt my place on stage. This is my first ever rehearsal for something like this. And then as we kept going on, we had so many fun moments, so many like memories that's gonna go in there. And we worked so hard and I'm just, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so with rehearsals, um, we first started out with just um, cast only, um, doing a lot of singing before breaks, before winter break, they started doing a lot of the rehearsal for the music, the songs and, and the singing. We started having musical rehearsals and um, so we started the musical rehearsal about late December, had a couple of rehearsals before Christmas break and then coming in January was full, full on. After winter break is when we started bringing in the crew, the crew that had some guys up in lights trying to figure out how they were going to make the lights work. Um, my makeup ladies were sitting there trying to figure out what we were going to do to make sure that the students looked like students and our adults, they weren't, no, they no longer looked like students, but they did look like adults. We were trying to figure out how everything needed to work from our perspective. It was very stressful though getting down to the end because you, you knew how much hype was around it and how many people were excited to see it. I had a lot of nerves, but they were the good kind of nerves. I wasn't nervous about mistakes. I was just nervous with excitement. I'm the first one that walks out there, so I was so nervous. I was like, oh my gosh. And I walked out on the stage and I was like, oh my gosh. What? I thought I was going to be sick or something, and I didn't want it to be like that scene from Pitch Perfect or anything. <laughs> so, but that didn't happen. It all worked out perfectly. The second night though, I was not even nervous. So it was just the first night. I don't think I'll ever be that nervous for a show again. I think we did an amazing job. A lot of people were underestimating us and I think we blew it out of the flipping water, so. Thursday opening night was probably the best opening night we've had. And I think that's when the performance was at peak. We could have never imagined the feedback that we've gotten. Um, it's been so positive and so over the top. And uh, we could have never imagined that it would go so well and that would be so well received. I was very, very proud. I was very um, excited with how everything turned out. Um, we, we almost sold out the first night and we did sell out the second night. So that was way more than I could have ever asked for. We got a lot of people considering we have not done a play in 30 to 40 years. This was what was such a cool thing is because especially here, um, this was, the cast was not built of people that were just from one group or just from one background. We had such a varying group of people that a lot of them didn't even know each other. They had no idea what their names were. They saw them around in the hallway. And then once we started practicing, it was friends were formed and bonds were formed and people realized these like interests. Yeah. Grew very close to the cast. I was telling them that, you know, a couple months ago, I didn't know any any of them. But now we're closer than family, most of us. The struggles that come along with doing a musical, like nobody else gets that besides the people who do it with you. And so they really become your family because, you know, they understand your problems. They understand what you're going through, you know, the struggles of stress and all that. I completely agree with the cast. I feel like we're best as friends now. The cast is like my family now. It's great. It was a phenomenal experience to have, even as like the small time that we actually got to be together. We had in-jokes, we laughed, uh, both on stage and off stage. Like we all barely knew each other, and now it's a musical family. You will end up with the family that you never had, and you will end up with such an, like an experience you will never forget, and it'll open your eyes to so many things. Who knew you could find your musical family at a spelling bee? A show like this, just being able to do it, is amazing and really crucial in students' education. High level of professionalism, a high reaction from the community, and just really good quality acting from the actors. The Fine Arts Department at Central is here. We are certainly coming with a vengeance. I'm really excited to see where it goes. Um, it's amazing that this has happened in my first year. And so just to see where everything's gonna go is just really interesting, I'm excited. I mean, we literally just made history. We can say, I was part of the musical that started at the Fine Arts Department. It's a crazy thing. I try not to think about it because it'll overwhelm me sometimes, but like, it felt awesome to be a part of this and 
really be a part of making history, you know. We all get the opportunity to come together as, you know, one unit. The fact that I am in such a pivotal moment in our school's history, I love it. <laughs> it makes me feel like... <laughs> I'm glad that I was able to help open the door to bigger possibilities for future um, actors here in this high school. I am thrilled for Central High School and the opportunities I see down the line. It's kind of shocking because it's just like, it just impacted the entire town. I mean, it just took one play to get everybody talking. Students that would hesitate to say that they liked something are standing up and clapping for something because it genuinely was entertaining and impressive. I think this has definitely brought a lot of attention to the school and it's brought a lot of attention to the students of what we can do. I think the future is very promising. The best is yet to come. It's only the beginning, and the fine arts department's gonna go a lot further. Oh, I think it's gonna get even bigger. It just reignited a fire that I already had for theater. It was a dream of mine to put it on stage, and it was super fulfilling. We were so incredibly happy that it went so well, that you know the cast was involved, that all the moving pieces were there, and it makes us super proud and super happy to even go bigger next year.